Hi everybody, Jeff Prentiss here. Uh, I want to want run through some steps on uh, completing this assignment where we make three color wheels. And I want to talk, you know, we'll be looking at the sliders and things, um, you know, the color picker and um, seeing how to how to pick color. So let's let's jump right into that. Uh, okay, now first you have to ask why. Now these are mixing tools, right? I don't consider them to be designing tools. When I'm designing a project, I'm thinking of color schemes, and I'm using the traditional color wheel, you know, uh, and, and picking my schemes, regardless of what kind of media I'm using. So, uh, you know, I, I'm thinking of like, well, I want some earth tones because I'm doing a brochure for, you know, uh, Greenpeace. I want some earth tones, but then I want to, I want to have some cools in there, uh, you know, for the typography to make it stand out. You know, things like that. Okay. <clears throat> If you were designing a brochure for Greenpeace and you knew it was going to be printed, you know, and uh, 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 by a printer, your printer you would be wanting to work in uh, CMYK mode, and you'd send that project off to the printer, and he would be concerned with mixing those inks. Okay, this is basically an ink mixing color wheel. This is just basically telling you how the um, waves of light are coming out of your monitor right and mixing but again it's a mixing tool right so for me uh, when I think of color you know when I'm when I'm doing a project I'm picking colors on the fly I'm going well I want a blue I want a desaturated blue I want a saturated blue you know maybe I want a, a purplish color you know we're picking like this so let's jump into this little academic exercise now the important tool for this is going to be this little color window. Boom. So I'm in Photoshop. Go into color. Right. And also your layers window. Now, just so in case you mess up, I would duplicate my background layer by dragging it down. And uh, I'm, I'm working on a, a duplicate there. And so I can you know, if I get into real trouble, I can delete that and I can I can uh, work on a fresh copy. Now let's start from this end actually, um, and let's do the uh, CMYK. Now keep in mind that the traditional color wheel is also subtractive. Okay, they don't mention that here. Uh, they both absorb light, and so what you end up seeing in color is the reflected light. Right. So, uh, but remember the printer this four color process printing is going to be combining um, cyan, magenta, and yellow right, to get colors. Okay. So let's do um, cyan. So you got this little slider. Oh, this is really easy. So you push your cyan slider all the way to 100%. You've got cyan. You use your um, magic wand there to select inside and you fill it. Now I fill it by hitting uh, option backspace. You're gonna, if you're on a PC, you're going to have to figure out that, key, that keystroke yourself. What's the next one we want? Magenta down here. Because these are our primaries, right? Your printer is going to have to take cyan and, and mix magenta to get blue. So let's do magenta. Um, I am going to select where I want that magenta to go. And I'm going to drag my magenta slider all the way up so I have 100%. And I'm going to fill that. Okay, next primary is going to be yellow. So I am going to drag my yellow slider all the way up and fill that puppy. Okay. Now, what happens um, when I mix cyan and magenta? Okay, let's drag that yellow down. Let's put cyan all the way up and let's put magenta all the way up. And we get this kind of uh, purplish blue. So let's fill that in as a secondary. What happens when we mix um, cyan and yellow? Okay, we're going to get green. So let me just fill that in. Boom. All right. Now, this is a little bit trickier. What happens when we mix cyan? We, we want to get a tertiary in here. So, you know, we're going to mix cyan and um, not 100% yellow. We're going to move this down to 50%. Okay. All right. And we are going to get like a blue green almost okay well now what happens when we have yellow at 100 percent and cyan at 50 percent okay we're going to get the tertiary over here all right and we're good to go so let's finish up the rest of these tertiaries okay so we want then cyan mixed with a 50 percent of magenta 
Let's just put 50 in there. Okay. Cyan and 50% magenta. There we go. And how about 100% uh, magenta and 50% cyan? Boom. Okay. Uh, let's see. How about yellow, 100% yellow and 100% magenta? Okay. There's our red. Okay. How about, um, let's see, 100% magenta and 50% yellow? Okay. And then 100% yellow and 50% magenta. Okay, so that is going to be our CMYK with primaries, secondaries, and tertiaries. All right. Oh, and then what happens when you mix all of your primaries together? You get K or black. All right. Now, uh, let's go over to our additive color wheel. We're going to go over here and we're going to pick RGB sliders, right, instead of CMYK sliders. So, we want red all the way and green all the way down. Notice we have a slightly different numbering system here. We're, on a, we're at 255, which is you know equal to like the 100%. Let's fill that in. All right. Thank you. Let's pick our next primary. Green at 100% or at 255. That number is going to be important, so keep it in mind. And blue at 100%. Remember, this wheel now is telling us when light is streaming out from your monitor, when the red light streams out with the blue light, you know, we're going to see what it mixes, what it, what it makes here. You know, what these primaries do. Remember, a primary is something that can't be mixed. A primary is a basic building block, and then you mix your secondaries by mixing two primaries, and you get your tertiaries by mixing a primary with a secondary. Okay, so where were we? So let's do our red and our green at full strength, and we're going to get yellow. Okay, let's mix our green with our blue at full strength, and we're going to get that kind of cyan looking color. Okay, our red and our blue at full strength, we're going to get that. Now let's let's do our tertiaries. So we want our let's let's work our way clockwise, I guess. Uh, red and then 50% of green, or actually 50% of 255 is what? It's about 130, as I recall. Hold on, let me check. Well, it's 127. So let's see, green 127. Okay, look at that. We got a nice little orange there, don't we? Okay, now let's take our green all the way up and make our red at 127. Okay, it looks very close to this primary, doesn't it? Okay, uh, let's see. We want our green and our blue at 50% to get that tertiary or at 127. Tertiary is just a fancy word for third. And then we're going to reverse that. We're going to have our blue at 255 and our green at 127. Okay. Next, let's work our way counterclockwise from the top. We're going to have our red at 255. And we're going to have our blue at 127. Okay. And then finally, we're going to have our blue at 255 and our red at 127. What happens when you mix all your primaries together in the RGB spectrum? You get white. So fill it with white or just leave it blank.